look at this thing. So it's in there somewhere. Right? Pull right out. Pull right out. Alright, let's work on getting this out of here. Yeah. In the gel coat bag. So this, Proxima, is, this Proxima. is where the body comes together. Hey, this is where the seam is, right along here. And where Factory Five right. puts the. And so they're they're cutting the seam down plus the gel coat to expose the. Mm -hmm. About two inches wide. Okay. And then this is the seam that you got to take out. HSRF. Yeah, it's a high strength. Uh, it's the only stuff that works. holes in it. Okay, so this is guy that's already gone through it. Yeah. So that's... And that's putting the bond in after he's got it dug out. Okay. Now a lot of them will put a strip of, make this one inch wide, mm -hmm. they'll put tape on there. And then while it's right. semi-wet, yeah, yeah, pull yeah. it Because yeah. this stuff it is gives you a nice edge. super hard to grind okay. out. Well, you'll see with my stuff, it might be a little easy. See the and this, a rage maybe on top this, or duraglass? Well, they do that after they sign, this hardens. It's got to be a two-step process. Okay. This hardens. They cut this off. Right. Uh, and then they uh, use a uh, rage or something over the top, which I have. Right, right, right. To make the... Got one click. And just... Yeah. So this, the molds are together. So this is what's sticking out. Mm. So all this stuff, it'll crack over time because uh -huh. this layer here is not bonded. So what you have to do is essentially cut that out. Gotcha. And lay the same vinyl ester material in here so the gray is the you gel take coat. the gel coat out right fiberglass so, layer one right and there's a fiberglass two so right what? it's untouched underneath okay. so you don't go through yeah that you cut down you get rid of the vinyl ester uh-huh and because or the really the gel coat okay. so there's the seam opened up on the top like we talked about and that's just a paint, paint scheme okay I, I, here's the white stuff, the regular, and I took the gel coat off, mm -hmm. and then I cut this seam out with a grinder, so just to see, you know, to play with it. Uh, let me get my light, my back light. Hmm. And you'll see it. You don't want to cut that underneath because you want to bond that together. So this is the seam that we're trying to. So I cut too much out. I didn't V it, but I was trying to get all of it out prep this thing. All right, well, let's just start chewing it out and see what happens. Step one, here we go.
to get that low to even get that out of there. Yeah. It's definitely going under the gel coat over here and under the gel yeah. coat over yeah. here. That's you want to tie this and that and the bottom all together with that stuff. Do we need to get this little layer of that stuff out from underneath? See, there's still some here. Yeah, I would say you need to get all the black stuff out. But I don't think you have to get all of it because you're going to stand there. Okay. Um, all right. Well, it won't crack in a picture. You know,
looking at <laughs> yeah it's a uh, a ford 302 5 engine it's got a total heads manifold cam trick flow package the 350 horse trick flow street heat intake and a and that came the basically the bottom end came on uh, right the, uh, so donor. we did a we did a top end rebuild with the trick flow aluminum heads 2.06 twisted wedge heads the uh, trick flow stage one cam, which is a dual pattern cam. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's going to be in the 350 range horsepower. It's all pretty much standard. You got it pretty much all done, right? Yeah, it's 100% done, just got to restart it. Multiple upgrades over yeah. the years, but mm -hmm. we're just now getting to the body. body yeah. Work, so. yeah, it's got a lot of custom things on it. It's got uh, FF metal. Um, battery box in the back, sit in the front. Okay. There was a maid, it has a, a below drawer, below the deck, it was custom made. A little storage compartment. Storage compartment there. It has, has the upgraded three link from Factory 5 Racing. Okay. Um, it's a 410 rear end deck, so which may be too high, but it'll definitely do well in stock. So we were using the gas tank out of the donor Mustang. Mm -hmm. Gas tank's out, rear end's out. Rear it's out. a T5, uh, world class T5. T5. Yeah. Yeah, T5. One with pipes to go on it instead of the, uh, the other kind of pipes that they have stopped. So that was an upgrade. It has a uh, 130 amp uh, alternator, stainless steel piping from. Uh, the high, the high end aluminum radiator. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So neat. We're not far from starting. Yeah. Neat. It's 30 pound injectors to go with the cam, and over the 19 pounds has a 70 millimeter um, intake. So we we should be getting pretty close to the 350 mark. About all you can handle these <clears throat> cars. 
Mm, only two people, so that's it. Yep, two people. I got the dash <laughs> finished this week. Yeah, that's I nice. I didn't use the standard dash. I use a 3M carbon fiber coating. Okay. Thought it would be better. Sweet.